today we'll see how we can merge multiple files to a single file we have these two function ls and repartition with the help of these two function we can combine multiple files into a single file let's see the characteristics of each of these function ls of n the ls performs spark data shuffles which can significantly increase the job runtime so when we use ls of n so this is going to do the data shuffle and this might increase the job runtime and when specify a small number of partitions then the job might fail for example if you if you run ls of 1 spark try to put all data into a single partition this might lead to a disk space issues next is repartition so use repartition to decrease the number of partitions however repartitions reshuffle all data same like how we how it's happened in ls here also it want to reshuffle the entire data the main difference between the ls and repartition is the ls function operates uses existing repartitions to minimize the number of data shuffles so the ls function uses the existing partition to minimize the number of data shuffles let's see this in demo how we going to uh, combine multiple files to single file right now my aws portal and i am in aws glue service so click on this etl jobs uh, i have a etl job so this job is mainly to convert a csv file to a parquet file so the code snippet here is like kind of auto generated so when you run the job through the studio code right it is this auto generate this code so it's the same code so what what is happening here is here we are taking the file from this bucket snowflake dev demo bucket and we are doing the mapping this kind of one to one mapping here and finally writing into a target as a parquet file the source file it is csv and the target file it is parquet so let me open a, a s3 bucket so this is my source bucket i have a file called item csv and let me open target bucket so let me delete everything from this bucket so my open bucket is empty now let me go with job details so everything is same here i'm using iam role that this role has both a uh, s3 access as well as cloudwatch access and i did not specify any advanced properties or anything here so everything is a default one here and let me run this script now so this job is just to convert a csv file to a parquet file let's say this and run this one In the meantime, I'll open the IAM also just to show what exactly is there in IAM. So, go to IAM. Roles. The IAM role. So I have Amazon S3 full access as well as CloudWatch full access. So these are two policies attached in the. Uh, role the job is still running uh, now the job shows status succeeded 
let me open this S3 bucket this is the out bucket press this one so now you could see there are three parquet files but in the source bucket we have only one one csv file this is the parquet output file output bucket we have three parquet files here but whereas in the source bucket we have only one csv file in case if there's a requirement to convert all these multiple files into a single file then we can use this for either collage function or repartition function we can use and we convert them to a single file that's what we're going to do now so i'm going to delete these uh, files now here from this bucket so all the files are deleted here in this bucket let me ch change the code in studio so before writing into the output s3 bucket i'm going to repart I use the function repartition to convert to i mean to merge the multiple files into single file so i'm going to include this code here repartition one equal to change schema now because this is the one we have in the transform or transform schema transform data frame so I'm, I'm copying that one and i'm just changing changing that into a single partition here but repartition of one so it's going to combine all the files into a single file so i'm going to replace this one in the final in the uh, right data frame here and change to here so these are two changes here one is like i'm just converting the data frame into a single file here using this statement then i'm replacing this uh, data frame in the actual output uh, data frame let me save this The job is running now. job status should have succeeded let's check the output bucket now so now you could see there is only one file previously there were three files but now with the help of this repartition function we are converting that to a single file here so if you see the job runtime now previously we did not specify the repartition it took close to one minute but whereas when you put the repartition it took two minutes so because it's going to put reshuffle the entire data that's the reason it is taking more time so we should be careful uh, when we use uh, collage or repartition because when you add that it's going to increase the job runtime so if it's really necessary then only we should go for this option that's it for this video and thanks for watching